Heat exchangers are a system that transfers heat between two or more fluids, and they're used in both cooling and heating processes. Plate heat exchangers are one of the most common types of heat exchangers for industrial applications. They are made of thin metal plates that are stacked together to create complex interweaving channels, and they come in two varieties, plate heat exchangers that use gaskets and braised plate heat exchangers. But is it possible to improve upon their design using additive manufacturing? Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today I'm going to show you how to create a customizable heat exchanger in the form factor of a traditional plate heat exchanger. Let's get into it! Plate heat exchangers have a rectangular shape with plates stacked on top of each other, increasing in size in one direction. Our design goal today is to create a heat exchanger that has exactly the same external dimensions as a traditional plate heat exchanger and take advantage of additive manufacturing to increase heat transfer efficiency. We could use such a design to replace traditional heat exchangers in existing thermal management systems where we would need higher performance. So I created this workflow in Anthropology that generates a fully customizable heat exchanger. Let me show you how it works. First, I defined a box and shelled it. I used the length, width, and height of the box and the thickness of the shell as my input variables because I want to control the form factor of this heat exchanger. Now for our box shelled out and rounded, I added the inlets and outlets. So I took a cylinder and made it so it would always be placed at the bottom of the shelled box and in the corner. So if I was to make any changes to the dimensions of the model, it will not break. Now once that fluid path was created, I mirrored the original body and used some boolean operations to generate holes for our inlets and outlets on our box. On top of that, pipes were generated in those locations. Now also knowing that fluid will be flowing through here, I also added a little cornering to guide the fluid to reduce pressure drop. Now with all of our inlets and outlets and shelling out of the way, let's start working on the core of this heat exchanger. Since I'm creating a heat exchanger with two fluid domains, I will infill the design space with a gyro TPMS. The gyro provides a large surface area for heat transfer, naturally separates the flow into two domains, creates incredibly stiff thin walled structures, and they are self-supporting and easily manufacturable. From this operation, I can pull out the couple of variables, such as the cell size, to give us complete control of the X, Y, and Z of the cell, and the wall thickness of our wall gyroids. Now that I'm happy with the structure of the gyroid core, we need to also add in these baffles in specific locations to prevent the two fluids from mixing. Using our cylinders, I can thicken them and use some boolean operations to create our baffle regions. I pulled out the thickness parameter here to be able to control the thickness of the baffles as well. Now to wrap things up, I used a simple boolean union to combine all of the elements of my heat exchanger to generate the final design. Now that I know this workflow will work, I can condense this entire workflow into one single block using variables that I have pulled out earlier. If I was to open a new instance of NTOP and import the condensed workflow, I can change up a couple of inputs over here and it will output my new heat exchanger, allowing me to generate and go through multiple design iterations of it. The next step in my development process would be to mesh my design and run a thermal FEA and CFD analysis to evaluate the performance of my design and optimize the geometry of the gyroid core. Now, why would you want to do this? Maximize heat transfer, minimize pressure drop, minimize size, and more. While there are advantages of a traditional plate heat exchanger, there will also be some disadvantages. Plate heat exchangers that use gaskets are prone to leakage and are limited to lower operating temperatures. Braised plate heat exchangers don't have these issues, but are still connected with high pressure drops requiring a larger pump and increasing energy consumption. Having a TPMS core can create heat exchangers with higher efficiency at the same or more compact size. With Anthropology, you have full control over the design of the gyroid core from the thickness of the wall gyroid TPMS lattice down to the cell size and conformal cell map. This way, you can optimize your design and minimize pressure drop. The design automation capabilities of Entopology can also accelerate your product development process, from faster iterations to automated generation of whole product families, even to mass customization. This way, you can create a heat exchanger that works for your application. I hope you were able to get a lot of insight into what Entop is capable of. Thank you, and hope you learned something new today. If you want to download this Entop file, go to Entopology.com under Resources, Videos, find this Entop Live, and at the bottom, just fill out this form and download the end top file. 
you want to learn more about anthropology, contact us by filling out a form to speak with an Antop expert. Lastly, check out our support page at support.anthropology.com and type your questions here if you have any other questions. Thank you.